Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Now I want to talk to you about the charging curve of the Volvo XC40 Recharge. I filmed a charging session from 10 to 90 percent. Just from 90 to 100 percent it will take so long and I didn't have limit, I only had limited time and I arrived with 10 percent. Uh, I didn't want to drive another round like same reason. But let's just go through the charging session and then look at the curves. Yeah, plugged in, but <laughs> my camera was a bit off in the first few seconds, and this is real time now. But we're going, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I tried again my blocking of the of the ionity charger, so there is not too much reflection. I still have to perfect this; it's not perfect, but here we go. Well, now we're going fast, and you can see in. In like a minute it goes up to almost 150 kilowatt, 146 voltage at 10% was around 400 volts, so that's pretty good. And it will go up to above 460, so that's really good. And now at 3 minutes at 17% we have 151 kilowatt. The car was never on to have heat, so this is really just charging. And this is what we will see a lot of times, like we've seen now. Charging speed goes down by, I don't know, 20, 10, 10% or more, 20%, and then go slowly back up. And that that's, I don't know why that is, and why Volvo or Polestar, I think, have to, has the same thing. I don't know what that is. Now, now again, and then it will go up. And what you can see, after 10 minutes, we are at 34%, so we charge 24% and 21 kilowatt hours. Still good charging speed, it never dropped under 110 kilowatt, still at 124. Now again, a bit down, and then going up, and then look at this, going down to 90, to 80, 84, and then going back up. So it's the whole time it's doing this, and so of course that's why we will get in the in the... In the uh, graph, we get a weird curve that goes up and down. But uh, after 50 minutes, we have 44%. So 34% have been charged. 30 kilowatt hours. It's also very nice. And you can see it, it's charging well. It's really, it's really uh, good. And you can see that it's windy. The 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 thing is shaking my cover. Um, but the car is a bit thirsty, so it's not too much range, and we'll see that in the curve in relation to other cars. Almost at 20 minutes, in the 20 minutes um, we are at 53%, and it even dropped at 67 kilowatt now, but uh, again, up and down, up and down, 38 kilowatt hours charged. We're at 420 volt now, and it will still go up and up. 76 kilowatt now it's it's a weird charging curve i don't know what 40 kilowatt hour charge after 23 minutes power i mean it's the battery size of most evs and that in 24 minutes that's pretty good uh, at 60 percent we are after 24 minutes of so 50 percent has been charged in 24 minutes and 43 kilowatt hours still at around 65 to 70 kilowatt charging speed but of course it's not the hun up above 100 kilowatts so it's not like i said a charging curve where you can say okay at this moment you have to stop it's just very hard to do because it's moving around the whole time but we now voltage it went up to 432 volt we had 30 minutes 68 percent so we charge 58 percent in 30 minutes and 49 kilowatt hours we're at 69 kilowatts still and it, i think it stays there for a while i think to 84 percent then it drops down to 30 kilowatt and then above 80 it really drops and drops it's it's pretty slow above 80 and then above 90 eh. You shouldn't do that. Uh, 35 minutes soon, we will be at 75% and 55 kilowatt hours charge. We're at 440 volt now, still 68 kilowatt. I think it's pretty okay. Then we have a drop to 55 kilowatt, but it goes back up, but slowly. It takes a long time. I mean, this is, I think, a th uh, 10 times the speed. That takes some time. We're at eighty percent almost at almost forty minutes. Fifty nine kilowatt hours charged. Fifty three kilowatt power. Four hundred forty four volt. And here we have to drop. It was at eighty one, but still, is it going up? But still, we are at thirty eight kilowatt. And it's not at the sixty anymore. Was at eighty one percent. So 
80 charge to 80 percent that's what I, what i will say and and we, the whole charging session was 53 minutes um from 10 to 90 percent i think that's okay um and like i said 30 kilowatt 444 volt 85 percent after 45 minutes 63 kilowatt hours charged that's that's good it's, it's a good charging speed the curve is just weird and uh, we're then almost it, now of course it's slowing down even under 30 kilowatt so 80, 80 to 90 it's not a thing you should do and uh, we are then almost at the 90 at 50 minutes we are at 88 percent i think let's see yes 65 kilowatt hours charged almost at 450 volt it's still at the 30 kilowatt and like i said i stopped at 53 minutes with 90 percent and how much how much did i charge i think 60 67 kilowatt hours a bit above yeah, there we go, 67 kilowatt hours, and uh, the car stopped, I said the car charge limit to 90%. So, let's go to the graphs. First, we have here the, the charging power of the XC40, and so the up numbers are the kilowatt, the charging power, and to uh, from left to right, we have the state of charge in percent, and so you can see at what state of charge you have what uh, charging power and uh, like you can see these are the the jumps that it does and uh, this is uh, my my data here is every minute if it would be every second you can see even more and the, the up and down and everything but as you can see 81 percent this is the max you should charge uh, with this car then we have uh, the state of charge in time of minutes and this is a very gradual curve it's not doing any weird thing then we do comparison so the first charging curve that we just did just in comparison with other cars and as you can see the the, the top three here is the red one is the xc40 the green one is the id3 pro s with the 77 kilowatt hour battery and the orange one is my id3 is 58 kilowatt hours and as you can see um to 38 percent the, the XC40 has higher charging speed and after that uh, almost the whole time the ID3 Pro S has faster charging speed but my ID3 is always under except for the for the last here of the 80 to 90 percent is still okay in my ID3 the next thing is then kilowatt hours charged in minutes and this is very interesting because you can see here again the top three uh, green one Pro S uh, where's my uh, my id3 yes it's the orange one and blue one is xc uh, uh, red one is xc40 and as you can see kilowatt hours charged the the xc40 is above the pro s till i would say 15 minutes around there and then the pro s is charging more kilowatt hours in the battery over time so the charging speed is better uh, with the with the pro s and then the last thing which is the most important range edit i took uh, uh, on 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 this uh, uh, graph i i used uh, my rokobi test uh, average consumption at 90 kilometers an hour and i of course i didn't do that with the xc40 so i estimated this i took bjorn Elon's video where he did 90 kilometers an hour average speed and had 230 watt hours per kilometer and i took 220 because i usually don't have exactly 90 kilometers an hour or average speed on my rokobi test so i took 220 and as you can see uh my id3 is adding more range uh to the car and the pro s of course even more the the xc40 is down here with the ionic and other cars because it's so thirsty so range added in time is the same as what is yellow so are almost the same as the zoe as ionic um only only the other cars are then under this but uh, id3 pro s and my id3 uh, uh, add more range over time than the xc40 because of the co high consumption very very interesting uh, but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye